How's it going guys? 223 Frank the Tank here and it's been a little bit of a long time since I've done a DCS video but the DCS MI24P Hind has officially released into early access earlier last week so I've been away so I haven't had a chance to you know get into it until a few days ago so uh, today we're just gonna take a quick look around it we're gonna start it up a little cold start I'll kind of show you guys this isn't a tutorial it's just me doing my first look and impressions with you guys so I'm gonna right control and enter to get those control indicators because they're pretty helpful for me and also want you guys to see my control inputs all right so first we're gonna open up these right here boom and then this your battery panel Let's shut this lady up. Nope. Come on, okay. And then you want to turn on this inverter. No, 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 no. Over here we got a fire extinguisher switches right here. Turn them on. Then we're gonna need a fuel. Bada bing, bada boom. Okay, so now that this is on. Shut our stuff here. Let me check the volume, I think. No, it was just loud for me, I guess. Okay, so let's start up that APU right here. Should watch that slowly cranking on. There it goes. <clears throat> Okay, our APU is running. We can officially start the engines. So let's go ahead and crank that. I wanna hold this down for two seconds. Oh, my bad. Don't forget the rotor brake. Okay, now that your <laughs> rotor brake is down, let's hold that down and then immediately crank the handle down. Boom, and I should get it started. Oh, let's not forget the fan. Most important part. <laughs> I love that. Slowly coming to life over here. <laughs> That's so funny. Okay, that engine has started all the way now. We're gonna turn this handle down. And then, there we go. Get that second engine started. Then uh, once that started, we're gonna get the collective throttle up. She's gone. almost fully uh, spooled up here okay now that she's spooled up I go page up to turn your throttle on the cyclic up and once you get uh, up to flat RPMs you can switch on the generators turn off the inverter turn on your rectifiers now you just turn everything else on. Turn that to count. And we can stop our APU. Okay. 
then uh, backspace to hide this. Turn on your autopilot channels. Okay, awesome. Let's turn on our sight. Adjust that bad boy. And then, uh, yeah, we're ready for takeoff. I'm just going to do a couple checks around, make sure everything is set up. There she is. Making that little chirp, chirp, chirp noise that I love. Okay, I'm gonna bring my cyclic back a bit. Uh, by the way, I kept calling this a cyclic. This is the collective. I don't know. Then, uh. Gonna go ahead and taxi out. I must admit it's a bit weird to taxi a helicopter. You just gotta be very gentle because you don't want to tip it over like I almost did. <laughs> just give it a tiny bit of, uh, of collective and a little bit of cyclic forward to get it moving forward and then just get it back to a neutral position. We're just gonna do this takeoff here, this taxiway over here. Very gently put some collective in. Oh, we're very, ooh, a bit wobbly. Gear up. I'm still learning this helicopter, but it's really fun. Just like that, we're off. <laughs> Really fun to fly. A lot heavier than the Huey, but still really awesome. And of course, way heavier than the K50. But you could definitely whip it around and do some pretty cool maneuvers with it. Cyprus, which got added in on the same patch that released the uh, MI24. This thing flies beautifully, honestly. I love it. It's dodging power lines. DCS, you know, you could just have fun and just do some goofy stuff. I'm still just learning it anyways. Pretty low visibility out of the right side, so I like to turn left most of the time. Like I'm a NASCAR. <laughs> it's 
she is extremely stable. Once you trim the, the hind, it's really, really stable. So quite enjoyable to fly around. some form of momentum, we're going to do a rolling landing, which I haven't tried yet. Gear down. Back, use your 
anti-torque pedals to stay centered and just aerodynamic brake not too bad could have been better but that was my first attempt on a rolling landing well I'm just gonna leave it here guys I appreciate it if you stick around and watch of course I just do this for fun so you know if I say subscribe is just you know subscribe if you want to I don't really make videos super often so it's more of just a for fun thing if you enjoyed it leave a thumbs up let me know what you guys think uh, so far I'm really enjoying this helicopter I love helicopters in DCS they fly awesome uh, I mean I haven't tried the hip or the gazelle but you know the Hue and the K50 are really fun uh, so this is definitely going to be one of my favorites to fly around let me know what you guys think and uh, I'll catch you on the next video. See you.